I uh, reached out to the Senate regarding the explosives and the rockets we talked about. You mentioned something along the lines that we know that we have confirmation, or at least intel, to believe is coming from St. Queen Island. That is correct. Um, high level, we've had a operative on Sanguine Island for roughly a month. We have a signed affidavit in which there are exchanges documented of bombs being provided to Cap Terra Nova and Mr. K, of which we have incidents and situations, for example, this bombing of the police department and the death of the commissioner, um, which substantiates that. Uh, furthermore, uh, phone calls between Cap Terra Nova and uh, uh, Jaeger Demon. Does Brian use Cop 2? I think he does, actually. Let me we see. We have further intel pointing at uh, both four He does, man. I'm going to copy him. GG, whom are behind the rocket attacks and whatnot, uh, of Rooster's Rest that have also been in communication. And finally, shipments of heroin believed to be. Uh, sent to Sanguine uh, by the leader of the Saints. Beyond this, uh, Kyle Pred, member of GG, member of their militia, uh, is the one we have in custody. He's also documented to have uh, shot one of our own officers who got out of ICU yesterday. I received his statement and testimony. Uh, it's going to be Brick James. Um, among some other things. I can send that document. We got that way. somewhere uh, documented because I need to present it to the Senate and the Chief Justice Crane. I'm going to convince them and yes. maybe it's time for um, military action on St. Queen. If there's any proof or link of other explosive rockets that have shaken, shaken, I should say, uh, the core foundation of our city, I need to know. The more evidence reports, investigations, the more confirmation that bombs and explosives are coming from said island. That means we need to go there and level it. Or, when you go there, like you said, the idea that you had, a show of force. Demanding force. that they hand over any explosives and bombs they have. If they don't, we will level the place. I think um, something like that needs to be done. Uh, if you take a look at the classified documents in the... Um, I gave you access to our uh, full set of reports. Um, there's a classified uh, dossier labeled Sanguine. All the information is there. Um, we can get that collated and delivered this Friday if you need it in a separate format. It's probably the people we send up. We should be fine. Uh, yes, Friday would be good. I'm going to meet with the Chief Justice. Um, I talked to him about this. He's going to report back to the, to the Senate. The Senate will definitely show up and we'll have a presentation regarding this uh, and mm. try to um, convince them that, hey, we need to take an action. We can't sit here and hope to God the problem goes away on its own. Even though that today has been peaceful as far as bombings, the past few weeks have shown hell. It has. So, I need your help with, um, you know, just making sure that all our, uh, you know, eyes are dot. Our T's are crossed as far as this, so we can proceed forward. Um, it's not going to be an easy thing. In fact, uh, if we get the green light from the Senate, it's going to be a full Los Santos military draft. Understood. Uh, I'll get everything uh, pieced together, and I'll uh, prepare it in a way that it can be easily presented. And you said Friday? Uh, yes. Okay. The sooner we can do this, the better. Okay. Uh, uh, make note, Friday is the day that visitors uh, go to Sanguine. I see. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to the Chief Justice, let him know what's going on. Uh, hopefully he can reply back, reply back to the Senate, and uh, they can be around Friday, and we can proceed with this plan. Well, um, obviously, I think the, the conversation needs to be had on Friday for sure, but I kind of want to get ahead of it right now. Um, I spoke with Director Knight, and after a lengthy and long conversation and the sheer amount of explosive and rockets have been popping up in Los Santos, either used against the PD, businesses, gangs, whatever you want to call it, there has been a yeah. connection and a link back to uh, a special place where we have confirmation that uh, explosives and rockets... Uh, I knew it was in Iran. Well, they have nukes. They have something larger and greater. Yeah. I'm talking about... 
weapons of mass destruction are basically manufactured and made in Los Santos. Oh, shit. They invaded? They're invading... Fucking the Ayatollahs here? They're smuggling and transporting the said explosive in a way to where we're having a hard time stopping them. However, we know where the well or the source of the explosive is coming from, at least on a couple of particular industries that are documented either through subpoenas, uh, confirmation from undercover work. All of that combined uh, gives us enough uh, probable cause to believe that explosives and rockets are coming from San Queen Island. Ah, uh, Judge Ingle. Asshole. I don't know who and what exactly, but um, based on the conversation with the director, he's confident. So I want to reach out to the Senate. Uh, and uh, I was wondering if you could be that bridge for me to either have him on Friday around or to let him know that uh, we want to do something. And um, my idea would be a potential show of force to show up to St. Queen and demand to hand over any weapons of mass destruction over. They don't then uh, maybe a full-scale invasion to get him back. However... Do it or else. Kind of. Kind of. All right. Um, we have to be damn sure there's weapons of mass destruction found in St. Queen, or else there'll be egg on our face, and I don't want that. So I want to make sure that... Hey, you're going to get a shoe thrown at you. You good at ducking? A little bit. My knees still work. All right, I'm just saying, W had a good performance. You got to match that shit. Uh, yeah, so I want to be confident. I don't want to make this call lightly. I want the Senate and yourself to review the evidence or to look at it and be confident that what we have is enough to go in there. So more of a... You know who's really good at this? Carl Rove. You know where he's at? I have no idea, but um, if I could find him, I'll let you know. All right. Well, yeah, I could look at it. I mean, is it going to be a lot of... There's pictures, ain't there? There's going to be a lot of uh, text messages. I'm having Brian present it all on Friday. He's going to put it together for y'all to where it could be presented in a way that you can understand it and say, you know what? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I like pictures. Okay. But yeah, we can do that. Uh, I got a whole, I got to add it to the list. There is a I list. Got a pretty big list right now. Of legislation ship. <laughs> Mind sharing? I would love to know. You ready? Uh-huh, fire away. I'd love to hear it. All right, charge for lean, charge for the juice, charge for misuse of rental vehicles, so people use a bus to block something, they get a big fine. Ooh! Uh, conspiracy to organize street racing, so if they catch the person collecting the money, it's like a big fine, uh, bigger crime and all that. Base fine time points for street racing increase. Uh... Updating the rental company charges to include the three rental companies. State's attorney Damn. added to the government employee list. Felony human remains goes up in time and fine. Act of torture goes up in time and fine. Introduce uh, first and second related gang related shooting. Second degree will be anywhere on the island uh, south of Olympic. And that's going to be a 5K fine, 75 months. Currently, it's only $750. I don't know what asshole thought of that, but it's going to be 5K. Damn. And then uh, first degree gang related shooting is anywhere north of Olympic. That'll be 10K fine in 150 months. Uh, voter fraud laws, aviation laws, whole set of laws dealing with planes, kind of like we have for cars. So, like, not just like right now it's kind of binary, right? So, it's like you fly the plane, you lose your license, you know, kind of thing. Now it'll be like points and shit like that and like actual charges. So people could actually like pull over a plane or a helicopter and actually give them like tickets and mm, shit without just like I taking love their that. license. I, I, I love that. I love yeah. that. I think more than that. Uh, what about the boats? Is that is, what about the water? Uh, especially with St. Queen. We already, that's already, we already discussed that. Uh, I mean, I know who you guys are and you need it written down like three times in three different places. So, well, to be fair, I haven't been told much about that. So, yeah. Uh, so basically what we already advised is that international waters, extend basically the perimeter where that aircraft carrier is anything past uh, that is international okay, okay anything okay. on the aircraft carrier side of uh our side is our territory so if there's a boat coming into our territory or out there you know on the edge uh they can be stopped and searched for any reason perfect okay all right all right well uh, uh, damn. there's one more is uh currently there's some issue where if a cop waits 
and then files a criminal case like on the last day of the statute of limitations. Uh, and then let's say a civilian learns about uh, violations of their rights during that case, they wouldn't have time to file it because the statute of limitations would have expired. Correct, yes. Uh -huh. So we're going to extend it. I like that. I like that. Not I mean, overall, just in that scenario. Right, right. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a lot of those, but if there is, at least you have something to handle it, right? Yeah. Uh, That's good. I like these changes. I'm not going to lie. Bunch of shit. There's some really good changes that are going to be happening in the penal code here pretty soon.